Wake Up with Jim and Sab is exclusively on Spotify. And if you want to start your own podcast, you can check out anchor.fm. If you love the pod and you want to support us, make sure you follow us on Spotify. Also, you can tag us on Instagram and Twitter at Wake Up with Jim and Sab. Podcast. Today is the greatest episode ever <laughs> again. Part two. Um, we have Vice President Lenny, Lenny Robredo. Robredo. Um, hi, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Hi, Jim and Sab. Good to be back. Hi. Hi, baby. Thank you so much for um, being with us today. I know that you are currently in quarantine isolated and I hope we're making your stay less lonely. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Is it okay to say that? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it a secret? Ba? Sorry. Pwede kayo cut. Ika-cut ko na lang. Pwede naman namin i-cut yun. And this is sa akin. Okay lang. Um, cut ko na lang yun. Um, okay. I, I am always very open to what what's happening. I, I think we, we said it na publicly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Whew. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, well... Kaya, kaya hindi kami um, <laughs> news anchors. Um, uh, anyway. Uh, well, VP, I just want to say na, honestly, like, from our last episode, ang daming kids talaga na were saying, like, oh my God, it's so refreshing to hear... Parang kumbaga the humanization of Philippine politics. Mm. Kasi syempre, they're, they're, they're bombarded with Twitter and all these sources of information and the the humanity of it gets lost, di ba? Kasi, so they were so happy with our episode and yun. So, what, though, today, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna answer uh, a mali bag where yes. um, our pod kids send in letters for advice Pero somehow, uh, we still will throw in a little um, okay. political okay. chit-chat. Parang inside mada. Inside mada talk. Inside mada talk. Okay. Uh, before we get into the Malibag, I wanted to get your your thoughts on you know, current events. What do you think about the Filipinas, the kick-ass Filipinas in the Olympics? Ako, ako alam mo, yung Olympics was, pa- parang the way, the way we performed, um, made us so happy because we weren't expecting a gold medal at all. Parang we were all praying for our mm-hmm. athletes to, be, you know, to make good. But to have a gold is, mm-hmm. pa, parang it, it's 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 more than it's more than great. Lalo pa kasi it came at the heels mm-hmm. of the sauna, de ba? The, go- the the gold was yes, actually yes it was on the yes. same day so so parang alam mo yon parang it it was what we needed and it was what we really wanted yes. uh, so much parang we didn't realize how parang how hungry we were for good news for the country so yes. al- kami, we were watching we were watching the the events unfold and nakakaiyak talaga lalo yung uh, when the when the national anthem was being played already uh, para, para sa akin para Uh-oh. it brought so much pride um, lalo sa akin personally yeah. because um, I, I know I know Heidi personally um, we were together sa istorya ng oh. pag-asa and I, I know how alam mo yun the, the journey was for her um so so knowing uh-huh. that um, not only did she para, para fulfill a childhood dream, pero really uh, he made the country very she she made the country very proud. So so para sa akin at ano yon. And that's just oh, side din. Um pat, pati yung iba mm-hmm. uh, were, um, our one of yes. our uh, boxers is having her. Um, another competition yes. on the 31st tomorrow. I, pwede ko ba sabihin yung na 31st? Yes. So, pwede ko ba sabihin yung dream? So, okay lang. Yeah. Okay lang yun. <laughs> it's okay. Yes. It's, it's no problem. And also the skaters, yes. si Margie Lynn. Di, di ba si Margie Lynn? Um, yes. So, sobrang good vibes. Sobrang good vibes siya. Sobrang happy. <laughs> so nakakaaliw talaga. Nakakaaliw. Oo. Pero, um, Uh-oh. para sa akin, VP, as a, as a woman, Ren, and a Filipina, uh, parang, f- 
for me, it just was a metaphor for the country and hope. You, you know, you talked about yung pag-asa when you, when you talked to Heidelin, the historian ng pag-asa. And I think that really symbolized hope. I think when you said, no, we weren't expecting a gold, I think kasi nga we're used to how things are, right? And how we have never won a gold in the Olympics. And I mean, in the official... I know. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I think the mere category. fact that it's a it's a represent it it totally supports the fact that women should run this country. <laughs> My god. Uh, very subtle, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, I'm serious. I'm <laughs> point quiz. I'm point quiz. Isn't it such a great parallel? Na it's a sign. <laughs> not supported. Um Yes. Not supported na red tag pa. Yes. That was um, had to ask Accused. private companies for support. It's exactly and what it's the same thing that's the, happening with someone we know. That's crazy. I, anyway, who are you talking the, about? Shut up. Timing of the win. Parang yung timing of the win. Yes. Time na, mo yun, parang parang ano siya? Parang the entire universe conspired. Con- really conspiring. Uh, for for uh, to make that particular yes. moment possible. So, here's a question. Um, kunwari na lang nage insay mada lang tayo now, and then I <laughs> insay mada laing laing. laing. Hindi, kasi Ginata ang sen- hindi kasi sen- laing is, is 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 something that you eat over dinner or lunch. Eh. Ah, okay. Insay mada is like, oi, meron lang ako ng thirty minutes insay mada tayo. Magkuwento at chik chika okay. chika lang. Okay. <laughs> if I ask you, um, Madam VP. What is the state of the nation now in your perspective? Pero only habang only over, nage-insay mada. Habang nage-insay mada lang. So it doesn't have Layman's to be... Layman's terms, oh, parang, relax. Parang kunwari lang, wala akong alam. Tapos sabihin ko, ano ba, ano ba yung anus? What is the state of the nation now? We are, ano, we are the friends of your children. Ganon, ganon yung vibes. Sige, sa akin kasi Jim and Sam, para sa akin kasi, alam mo, this is an extraordinary time. Diba? This is an extraordinary time. And... You know, the fear and the anxiety of almost everyone is really related to the pandemic that, um, that's happening now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're in the midst of the pandemic and the anxiety is not just, alam mo yun, um, the possibility na mahahawa tayo, pero yung question na, kailan ba ito matatapos? So, so para sa akin, dapat yung state of the nation, yun yung core. Yes. Uh, kasi yun yung core, kasi... Di ba? Um, pa- para sa akin, um, the State of the Nation address was an opportunity. Eh. Was an opportunity to to inform the people uh, na nasan ba tayo ngayon? Ito yung plano natin. Kasi, kasi yung tao naman, di ba? Kahit nasa kahirapan siya, kung may marinig siyang plano kung anong gagawin, mas naapi siya. Yes. Pero um in yung sa akin referring to the state of the nation address that was that was given para sa akin missed opportunity missed opportunity to assure assure the Filipinos na um we're we're, we're in the midst of ano may extraordinary times pero okay mag-alala kasi ito yung plano natin mm. so so para sa akin ano may kasi kasi yung state of the nation al ba uh, more than a year into the pandemic, uh, parang our economy has shrunk. A lot of people lost their jobs and livelihood. A lot of people are getting sick. Um, so, 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 ano yung plan mo? Mm-hmm. Yung sa akin, it's, it's, this year is different from the rest. Parang last year and this year, dapat yung, yung core ng message is, ano yung plan mo sa pandemic? Para sa akin, dapat yung ma- ma-impart na message. Napakahirap ng panahon nito, pero all hands on deck tayo. Um, yes. Mag-focus tayo dito, yung ating budget, talaga nire-align natin to answer the many the many effects of the pandemic. Pero parang yun nangyari kasi, di ba, parang business as usual. Mm-hmm. Uh, pinag-usapan yung drugs, pinag-usapan yung unusual things that the president has been discussing. Para yung pandemic, dinaanan lang. Alam mo yun? So, yes. so, so yung sa akin yun, yun yung ensaymada portion yeah. ko na <laughs> That's sa akin. 
<laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Thanks, VP. That's yeah. exactly how we feel. Because it's how can you talk about the state of the nation and just pass over the, the what is the state, which is we, we are in a pandemic. Yeah, That's, it's it's basically saying, telling your patient na ito yung diagnosis mo. Pero sasabihin mo lahat except the actual diagnosis. And like, what are the next steps? <laughs> diba? yeah. So thank you. Thank you for that. Exactly. Magpapadala kami ng Ensaymada. <laughs> Tita VP. <laughs> ako naman, ako, ako naman, yung, ako, I, I was actually happy nung start nung start ng speech eh. Hmm. Kasi parang pinasalamatan yung ating medical frontliners which I think was really very good. Mm-mm. Pero, parang uh, alam mo yun, I, I thought na I, I thought na yun yung magiging segue para sa alam mo yun Mm-mm. sa to, um dinadaanan natin to pero sama-sama tayo tulong-tulong tayo walang ganun eh parang pagkatapos ng pagpasalamat dumiretso na kaagad dumiretso mm-hmm. na doon sa mga dating sinasabi so so yun talaga yung downer for me mm-hmm. I, I don't understand why some people think na saying things like that is considered parang fake or parang not uh, parang hindi totoong tao pag nagsabi ng ganun pero as a as a leader it is your job to kind of be the cheerleader diba of your of your countrymen and to lift their spirits and have a plan of action nga so and, I, yeah and just like a father or a mother like for if, if here in the family things aren't going so well it's my responsibility to see what is pos- what could possibly go right mm-hmm. and assure everyone na, hey we're going to try everything we can to make sure that we make out make this thing alive mm-hmm. diba parang ganun mm-hmm. so see so <laughs> <laughs> ikaw talaga yung ano you are the only ano, nga. Huh? sorry sorry kaya, kaya nga, alam mo um, parang days before the sauna uh, so some people asked me uh, what I wanted to hear from the president. Ang sabi ko, I, I, want, I wanted him to, to, well, to give us a very honest assessment of where we are now. Kasi alam mo yun, uh, hindi mo kasi pwedeng sabihin na sobrang okay tayo. Kasi pag hindi, hindi parang ang, ang feeling ko, mas mabuti yung honest ka. Kahit, kahit magalit o mag-alala yung sinasab- sinasabihan mo, mas better na honest ka, pero susum- parang dadagdagan mo yon ng totoong ganito, yes. pero ganito yung gagawin natin. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yun yung parang sa akin, I, was, I wanted to hear that. Um, rather than, parang, alam mo yon parang give the impression na everything is alright. Um, it's, just, it's, it's just one of the things that we're dealing with right now, which is not true at all. Yes. Kasi di ba, um, for, for more than a year, gaya, gaya sa August 6, mag-iisip yun na naman mm. tayo. So, so para sa akin, sana yon na huwag kayong mag-alala, uh, may, may sinat-aside yung gobyerno, just in case ganito, mm. meron tayong pang, ano mo yun, mm. meron you tayong pang gastos, per- personally, hindi yung parang wala. Do you think that Uh-oh. calling an ECQ is the best thing to do for, ano, uh, what's happening right now? Sa 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 oh sa 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 yung March, I was all for it. Mm-hmm. Pero para kasi sa akin, yung, yung, yung ECQ sana ngayon was the time for government to halimbawa ramp up testing, uh, ramp up contact tracing, uh, make, make sure that our hospitals are equipped with the, uh, not just with, with uh, medical supplies and medical equipment, but with um, y- the human resources unnecessary. Pero sa atin ang ginawa natin, parang ECQ lang siya. Mm-mm. Tapos humaba siya ng humaba pagkatapos ng ECQ, yung problema sa supplies, yung problema sa testing, ganun pa din. So, so sa akin, um, yung ECQ parang only delays eh. It Mm-mm. only delays because it, it controls transmission. But if you don't do something during that particular ECQ, pag 
paghinto nun, ganun pa din. Mm-hmm. So, so, alam mo yon parang pinapa, dinedelay niya lang, pero ganun pa din. Mm-hmm. So, oh. sa akin, um, the ECQ from August 6 to 15 will be good. Mm-hmm. But it will be good only if um, parang the, the agencies involved or the people involved will make sure that all the things they have to do during the quarantine will, quarantine will be done. Yes. Kasi okay. kung, kung wala naman, totoong control mo yung, yung transmission to a certain degree, Mm-mm. pag binaba mo yung ECQ, ganun pa din. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So, so, so para sa akin, ano eh, um, we should learn from the lessons from other countries also. Kasi halimbawa, yung Taiwan, yung, um, yung Vietnam, hindi sila nagkaroon ng mga mahahabang lockdowns but they were able to control their transmission. Mm-hmm. So, so, so sa atin, longest lockdown pero hindi pa din natin nasa-flatten yung curve. So um, sana hindi sila stubborn about it. Sana bukas sila sa mga, sa mga suggestions. Ah, kasi ang dami ng lessons around us eh, na titingnan mo na lang. Mm-hmm. Um, yun. And then by testing, uh, pag napakataas ng positivity rate natin, lagi kami nagsasabi na ramp up testing, eh parang, bit, parang nandun na kaagad sa argument na yung mass testing, hindi natin kaya kasi kailangan i-test lahat. Mm. Which is not that at all. That's not Pero alam mo yun, parang, parang yung suggestion gets lost in the propaganda. Yes. Ako, ako, Vivi, I, I think I have to ask for our pod kids, no? Parang kasi I think one of the pain points for um, the younger generation is that they all want to get vaccinated. <laughs> uh, we've been waiting to be vaccinated and as opposed to um, other countries who are dealing with anti-vaxxers, anti-vaxxers I would say that the, the Filipinos are more subservient and you know, diba, are willing. For And you've been doing your own vaccination drives, diba? Um can we know, like, wh- what is happening? <laughs> parang kung baga for you to do your own initiative like that. And then parang we see, like, Kwari, for example, we just heard that there was a subdivision, there's a private subdivision that's charging people to get a, uh, slot. To get, to get a slot for vaccination. Tapos, parang kung baga, iba, iba, like, and it's oh, a well-known private subdivision. Oh, parang we heard na, oh, in Antipolo, you can walk in. Kasi, kasi like, for example, um, two of our household members, I3, have been waiting for two months and they've been registered. So, bakit kaya ganun, VP? Is it really just the lack of vaccines talaga? Talagang ano, talagang malaki yung problema natin sa supply. Pero other than supply, mal- malaki din yung problema sa deployment of vaccines. Um, if, if you talk, uh, uh, actually, Metro Manila is so much better than the provinces. Kasi halimbawa kami, we just had a vaccine, our vaccine express in Naga uh, last week. Mm. Um, sa amin, mm. paunti-unti yung dumadating. Um, may dadating na 5,000. Tapos pag naubos nila, may dadating na 5,000. May mga stretches na walang dumadating. Uh, tapos nasa ano pa din sila, parang yung A2, yung A2 category kasi seniors eh. Tapos yung A3 mm. with comorbidities, hindi pa nila nasa-serve because of lack of supply. Wow. So, so so provinces, mas lack of supply. Yung 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 focus sa Metro Manila, uh, mas marami talaga yung supply dito. I think in, in Metro Manila, if I am not mistaken, ang vina-vaccinate na A5, and A6, I'm not sure. Uh, pero o A4, ang A4 kasi malaking category yun eh. Halimbawa yung A4, uh, pri- employees in private companies who are being required to report right. for work. Tapos all government employees. Mm. Tapos um, yung mga kasambahay pwede na. Um, pero yung mga oh. gaya ninyo na walang comorbidity, uh, siguro working from home, medyo bata pa, hindi natin alam kung kailan. Um, yun yung mm-hmm. sa akin, may problema din uh, as far as deployment is concerned. Um, maraming mga LGUs ang kulang yung vaccinators nila. Kulang yung tao. Kasi every time you vaccine, it's a big, big team. Kasi meron kang mm-hmm. pre-screening, meron kang vaccinators, meron kang mm-hmm. monitoring. 
So, kinukulong sila sa tao. And this was what I have been saying last year. Yung last year, wala pa tayong, wala pa tayong bakunang dumadating. Ano to eh, mga November, I think. Sinasabi ko na, kasi tinitingnan ko yung UK sa US eh. Sinasabi ko na, na mag-train na tayo na mga non-medical yes. personnel na pwedeng mag-vaccine. Kasi when the vaccines come, mamumroblema tayo sa vaccinators. And it's happening now. Naalala ko lang, ang, ang sinabi ah. sa akin dati, parang pa-insulto pa na when I said it, ang sabi sa akin, oh, lagi ka kang 10 steps behind, ginawa na namin yun. So, but, but we're seeing now na hindi. So, so yung Vaccine mm. Express na po-provide namin, um, we are able to um, we are able to gather uh, volunteers. So, mm-hmm. yung volunteer mm-hmm. doctors and nurses, um, when when we make a call, they volunteer. So, napapabilis. Halimbawa, in Manila, isang araw, parang isang araw, isang site lang yon. Ito yung mga TODA drivers and Grab drivers. Parang about mm-hmm. 4,500 yun na vaccinate namin. So, nakakabilis siya in one site. Halimbawa, oh, sa wow. Nanga, um, yung average nilang nababaccinate in a day, 500 uh, dati. Pero when we came, mm-hmm. we were able to vaccinate 6,000, 6,700 in two days. So, so ito, wow. it's both supply and deployment. Mm-hmm. Ano talaga? Mm-hmm. And, and itong deployment, ito yung nakakalungkot. Kasi we could have prepared for this. Um, we could have prepared for this. Uh, from the lessons uh, galing sa ibang bansa. Mm. Sa ibang bansa, mabilis mm-hmm. yung deployment because uh, before the vaccines came, they were training non-medical personnel already. Sa atin, bawal. Sa atin, bawal na vaccinator yung non-medical. Uh, yeah, new DOH, binabantayan yun. So, ang iba, talagang, talagang maghihintay ka sa availability. And the reality is that yung mga medical frontliners, dati na silang punong-puno ngayon, di ba? Halimbawa kami, our mm. volunteers, they would uh, they would come to the vaccination sites fresh from their overnight duty. So talaga okay. sobrang nakakahanga. Oh yes, sobrang nakakahanga na mga walang tulog pa, pero they want to volunteer. So ano talaga eh, parang mm. you just need to inspire people. Uh, kasi a lot of a lot mm-hmm. of Filipinos really want to help and they're they're looking for mm-hmm. platforms na kung saan sila makakatulong so alam mo yon it's many different things na ang daming missed opportunities well even as a private citizen i actually was frustrated about that part na parang all this time all all we were all the government was saying is we're just going to wait for the vaccine and then Parang, I felt like we could have done a lot during that time of waiting because I understand the vaccines weren't here yet, but we could have, yung nga, well, I didn't think of the training non-medical personnel. That is a good idea. But I was thinking at least man lang just uh, informing people why the vaccine is important. Parang hindi na maximize yon because there are still people who don't want to get vaccinated. Actually, I wanted to ask nga VP because si VP is the one who is actually on the ground mm-hmm. and doing something um i wanted to ask like is the the vibe of i mean kumbaga kasi i said diba parang for example in california apparently restaurant owners are saying if you are vaccinated you cannot go into our yeah, may mga establishment may mga ganon. here in 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 naga or in in your other um uh, 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 trips around i uh, the philippines parang is the you know, the level of vaccine uh, hesitancy still high, would you say? Sa, uh, sa, in, in the places where we've had vaccine express, no. Um, actually, kokonte okay, lang man. yung ayaw. Kokonte lang yung ah. ayaw. Um, Oo, oh, oh, kasi ang, 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 ang katotohanan na a lot of people, lalo sa naga, there were just 6,000 doses that, that arrived. There are a lot of people really wanted to be vaccinated. Uh, so, so sa akin, I don't know in other places because there has been a survey, diba? There has been a survey na the, the vaccine hesitancy is high. Although meron siyang improvement uh, sa last survey. 
Pero in Manila, where we did uh, Vaccine Express, wala kaming ganun na, na experience. Um, in Naga, wala din. Uh, in Manila, yung nakita ko lang, when we, we were first doing the registration of to- TODA drivers, medyo matumal. Um, and, mm. Kasi halimbawa, na-announce na may registration na first few days, konti yung nag-register. So kami, we had to incentivize. We had, we had to incentivize. Ang ginawa namin, nagbigay kami ng mga 500 peso gas cards. So in-announce namin sa TODA na those who will have themselves, submit themselves for vaccination will receive 500 peso gas cards. Dumagsak. So, ang gusto sabihin, um, siguro may hesitancy. Siguro, siguro may hesitancy, pero may mga bagay na mas importante sa kanila. So, halimbawa, yung 500, mm-hmm. I, I, I only learned later on, na yung 500 peso gas cards, ang laking tulong pala nun sa Toda drivers. So, mm-hmm. so para sa akin, um, if there really is hesitancy, you have to be creative. We have to be creative. Incentivize. Uh, we have to address it. Di ba? We have to address it. Mm-hmm. Hindi yung uh, kung ayaw pabakuna, di, di ba? Parang may threat. Mm-hmm. Kailangan harapin eh. Kasi iba-iba din. Iba-iba din yung reasons mm-hmm. for vaccine hesitancy. Ang iba, takot talaga, takot talaga sa injection. Ang iba naman, um, mm-hmm. naniniwala dun sa mga kwento about side effects. So, so dapat mm-hmm. sana ina-address yon and, and also, mm-hmm. um, dapat sana nung dumating yung vaccines, yung database natin, uh, malinis na. Uh, I've been saying that also last year. Kasi uh, ano ba example? Naga. Um, yung, yung Naga, nagpadala sila ng parang letters o, o I think text messages sa lahat na seniors to give them their schedule na pumunta kayo, uh, ganitong date, kasi meron dumating na bakuna, etc. Pero they asked the barangay captains to vet. Nag-vet yung barangay captains mm-hmm. the same week that we were vaccinating. Ang dami ng patay, ang dami ng nabakunahan na previously. So alam mo yun, hindi talaga maayos yung database. Dapat sana it, mm-hmm. it was something that we could have done last year. And yun nga, yung survey ng hesitancy, dapat in-address natin yun eh. Halimbawa, um, ang, 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 ang brand kasi na pinawa namin sa Naga was Johnson. New Johnson. Johnson and Johnson. Mm-hmm. So, merong, merong, merong mga nakausap ako before that, ayoko niyan kasi uh, sabi sa YouTube, ano daw, uh, kung, kung ano-anong mga side effects. So, dapat sana, di ba? Dapat sana na-address yun. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Dapat mas maraming infomercials. Dapat mas marami yung... Ang dami, ang dami naman ngayon nagpapatarp eh. Sabi ko nga sana yung tarp na lang. <laughs> Addressing vaccine hesitancy. <laughs> 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 I love it. That, that, that's a gold medal. <laughs> We give you a gold medal for that. Okay. Um, actually... <laughs> VP, speaking of databases, well, we are, I mean, nauna naman kayo mang, mang, ano, mang tarpaulin, meaning mang shade. Uh, speaking of mga database, j- kwento ko lang sa podcast sa listeners na medyo frustrating na after ko ma- ma- mag-register for vaccine, me and my friend, sabay kami nag-register eh. Same city, it will not be named na lang siguro. Mm. And then the day after, We both got the same text na campaign for a certain candidate and we were just it was the exact same message and parang okay obviously they're selling our data and this is not okay because because of that now I hesitate to f- ano to be honest about um putting my info when you know register, yung mga register um, register kasi parang bakit ganun bakit inaabuso diba parang it's yung mga Parang pinapalakas niyo yung mga conspiracy theories. Grabe, And, napa, nap, napatagal tong ensaymada. Oh nga, sorry. <laughs> Ang daming ensaymada. Tigil na natin to, busa na natin. Alam mo, Sab, I know what you mean. Kasi kahit ako, kahit ako nakaka-receive ako ng text message. Pero sa akin, Grabe. hindi sa akin local, national. Na, yes, 
Yes, sa akin, national. National. National, okay. Sa akin, national. Yes, yes. May hashtags pa. Para kalupan sa'yo. And sa akin, I, I, I also received. Grabe. I can't believe. So, hindi man lang binasa kung ano yung name niyo, no? Sige, hindi ka nababasahin para uh, uh, ano. Um, Iti-tweet ko na lang. Charo. So, naka to. Hindi na natin. Uh, I, I guess we're not gonna go into the maliba. No, I do want to. Do we have time? We, no, I think it's very limited yung time. Um, yeah. It's okay with yeah. me. Okay, sige. It's okay with yeah. ah. Just a quick one lang, VP, because I feel like our podcast would love to get your take. Kaya pa? Okay, if... if, if, if really, it's, this one is, uh, no, we would need, it's like a two-part thing, relationship and family-wise, yung advice na kailangan natin. So I'm just gonna read it real quickly. Um, ang title nito is, I'm engaged to a guy who's despised by my parents. Hi, pod parents. Please hide my identity. Call me Wanda instead. I have a dilemma. I want to talk to my parents about, but I don't know how. So here I am running to my pod parents first. I recently got engaged to this guy. Let's call him Vision. We're both in our late 20s. He's my best friend and I really see myself settling down with him. I guess one of the reasons why I love your podcast so much is because you guys remind me of Vision and I, of how we could talk about anything and everything, how we could express our opi- opinions freely without fear of judgment or scorn from each other. Blah, blah, blah. We've been together for two years, but our relationship has been pretty much hidden from the public. No, it's not that low-key, minding our own business type of relationship. We really are keeping our relationship a secret. Here's the backstory. Before my relationship with Vision, I was in a seven-year relationship with someone else. We have a child together, and my ex is very much loved by my parents. Understandably so, which is why I'm, I broke up with him. Ah, which is why when I broke up with him, my parents were up in arms about it. Of course, I understand where they're coming from. They wanted a complete family for their grandchild. But the thing is, I fell out of love with my ex and I didn't want to force myself anymore. I guess I got used to his absence that I just let us drift apart. My decision to break up with my ex came off as selfish to him and my parents. I'm an, uh, I also don't want my child growing, into an, growing up in an unhappy marriage later on. An unhappy and dysfunctional marriage. My parents got so mad because of that, our relationship got tainted. So when talks about me and Vision started, I was shown more anger. This is the reason why we decided to keep our relationship a secret. So lagi daw done in hiding yung mga dates nila, nakaschedule yung pre-birthday, pre-holiday dates so that they could celebrate these moments together. And then, ito yung sabi niya, our relationship has been through a lot of downs because of this type of setup. Because admittedly, it's hard. We chose to stay together and to stick with each other because we really do feel that we found the person we want to spend the rest of our lives with. So, the question niya is, I'm scared to ruin the newly mended relationship I have with my parents. We just started being okay and I'm scared for that to change. At the same time, I know my inability to talk to my parents is already hurting my fiancé. Oh, kasi engaged na nga daw sila. I'm, to- I'm so torn. Please help. Hmm. Can what, you do a quick what? recap? Because it's a damning. Hang on. Sorry, go. go, go. Uh, oh, I understood the entire um, letter. And I think may meron dong two points. Eh. Your first point um, if she is absolutely sure that this is the guy she, she loves, submission, and wants to spend the rest of her time, uh, the, the rest of her life with him. Ako dapat ipaglaban niya na. Dapat ipaglaban pa niya. Meaning to say, um, yung, yung pagsabi sa parents, it's something that she has to go through. It's, it's something that she has to face. Um, yung pangalawa, dapat maging understanding din siya. Maging understanding kung ano yung pinanggagalingan ng parents. Kasi yung parents naman always want the best for their children, di ba? So, so sa akin, um, mahalaga na if she is sure with vision, ano yun eh, um, yun nga, um, tingin, tingin ko kung sigurado siya tama yung ginawa niya. Kasi marriage is not something we take for granted. Uh, mahirap magpakasal sa isang tao na hindi ka sigurado. Kasi, um, it, Yung, yung kahit nga sigurado, it's, it's difficult enough because you will face a lot of trials uh, during your married life. So, so para sa akin, kung she fell out of love dun sa, sa dati niyang uh, fiancé, um, ay hindi pala fiancé, yung dati niyang boyfriend, 
Mm-hmm. Tama na she got out of the relationship. Mm-hmm. Um, how, however selfish that might have seemed to, to the parties involved. Uh, pero she was just being honest to herself. Pero mm-hmm. para kasi sa akin, um, hindi din pwedeng isang tabi yung magulang. Um, mm-hmm. Kahit magagalit sila, kailangan niya kausapin yung magulang. Uh, she has, she, she needs to be prepared uh, for the consequences. Kung talagang mahal niya yung, yung, yung sa vision. Mm-hmm. Pero ito yun, pa, para kasi sa akin, um, yung magulang, magulang yun eh. Uh, yung magulang, um, kailangan, ni, k- kailangan niya mas maging understanding kung bakit gano'n yung pakiramdam ng mga magulang. Para ano mo yun? Um, mas, mas maging madali for her. Pero it would be difficult kung two years na sila, tapos hanggang ngayon ay sikreto pa din, and they're engaged to be married already. Mahitap yun. So, so para sa akin, um, she, if she's very sure, Harapin niya na yung magulang niya. Kahit pa magalit. Kahit the pa magalit. The earlier, the better. Yes. Diba? Kasi, with your, diba? with your daughters. Ay, sorry. Ay, sorry. May lag, sorry. May lag kasi. I'm sorry. Uh, with, with your daughters, VP, do you, do you have a, what's your, ano, parang principle pagdating sa them dating people and uh, yun nga, yung your approval process, parang, ano yung, ano mo dun? Do you have an internal rule or something? I, 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 I don't intervene. Uh, I don't intervene sa kanila mga relationships. Kahit yung opinion ko, uh, I keep that to myself. Uh, kasi para sa akin, parang respeto sa, sa choices nila. Unang-una, ako parang I trust. I trust their judgment on people. Kasi para sa akin, pinakita naman namin mag-asawa kung ano dapat yung relationship. Mm. Uh, what or how, how relationship should be. So in that in that particular uh, respect, um, ano ako, panatag yung loob ko. Pero having said that, parati kong sinasabi sa mga bata na sabi ko mas gusto ko na yung mapapangasawa nila struggling. <laughs> Sinasabi ko na to, na parang, parang mas gusto ko na yung hindi pa, parang, parang in many aspects, hindi pa siya, parang he, did, he didn't um, have, have things um, so easy. Mm. Yun yung mas worry ko na pag, pag halimbawa, pag yung makasama nila o boyfriend nila, naging sobrang dali yung buhay. Yes. Doon ako mas takot. I completely Para agree. Para ako doon kasi alam mo yun. Ano I yun? agree. I agree super VP. Agree ako dyan. Marami kami kilalang struggling VP. Oo oh, nga. Baka pwede namin pakilala sa daughters nyo. <laughs> 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 Para parang kasi sa akin parang yun yung nagde-develop ng character. Yes. And nagde-develop ng character yung yung dumaan sa hirap. Mm-hmm. Dumaan sa hirap. And, and I'm not saying na dapat na hirap siya. Mm-hmm. Hindi ganun. Uh, yung sa akin, um, yung, yung ma- marunong na mag-handle ng struggles, mm-hmm. I think yun yung nagbibigal ng character. So parati yung sinasabi sa mga bata na um, hindi ako makikialam kung sino gusto nyo. Pero sabi ko, sana yung makasama nyo. Parang, parang ang, ang buhay mas mabuti na L- lagi ka lang struggling. Mm. Hindi ko sinasabi na dapat ang buhay mo maging mag- maging mahirap. <laughs> Pero alam mo yon parang para sa akin yung meaning ng, yung meaning ng buhay na kukuha dun sa trials yes. na pinagdadaan. Mm. And um, yun yung wish ko for them. Pero of course, of course, choice nila yon And I pray for that always. I pray na bigyan sila ng mga partners na who will bring out the best in them, who share their uh, values. Kasi yun naman yung pinakamahalaga na, na you share basic uh, values. Um, kasi the rest, parang yung, yung status, yung education, secondary na lang yan, eh, o hindi nga siya masyadong importante. Mm-hmm. Ang importante ay uh, yung values sa ka, sa ka, yung, yung, yung 
kung mahal ninyo yung isa't isa, ay yung, yung respect ninyo sa isa't isa, yun yung mga mahalaga in a relationship. Mm-hmm. I agree. So, just to close off yung kay uh, letter sender natin, the point is, you're gonna have to eventually let your parents know, diba? Kasi engaged na kayo eh. So, sabihin mo na ngayon, rip off the band-aid, mag-aaway kayo, okay, mag-aaway kayo. Just remember, na adults na kayong lahat, and you can make your own decisions, pero always respect your parents. Diba? We all agree yeah. on that. Saka ano din, saka sa akin, uh, oo, saka, sa akin, Jim and Sab, uh, not, not only, be, not only because I, I am a parent myself, pero sa mga situations na, ano ba, doon sa letter sender natin, magalit na grabe yung parents mm. nila, sa kanila. Yung, yung, understanding where they are coming from will make them um, parang, parang more more humble. Mm-hmm. Uh, na, na sa akin, sana hindi sila magsawa na suyukin yung parents yes. nila. Uh, na, na paminsan, alam mo yung paminsan yung parents din yung, yung unreasonable. Mm-hmm. Meron din mga parents na unreasonable pero ang para sa akin kasi sana mas ma- maging understanding tayo sa parents. Mm-hmm. Yung mga parents natin will not be here for a very long time. So yung yung sana kahit may hindi magandang reaction yung parents, they find it in their heart mm-hmm. na continuously uh, suyuin. Suyuin yung parents nila. Um, makakapagaan yun sa pakiramdam. Mm-hmm. Kasi eh, hindi magaan sa pakiramdam na hindi hindi kayo okay. Mm-hmm. Pero pero I think pag ako ako as a mother kahit pa sumama yung loob ko sa anak ko pag nagpakita sa akin ng ano mo yun yung yung uh, uh, nag, nagpakita ng anak uh, ng ng pagkasorry mm-hmm. nagpapakumbaba mas madaling lumambot yung puso mm-hmm. ko. Um pa, parang good vibes yun for them to start their life. No, okay sila lang. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. so, oo nga. I agree. So, oo. yung advice ko yun, uh, oo, parang however their parents uh, will react, sana patuloy yung, patuloy yung understanding, yes. yung patience, oo. saka yun, yung, yung pagsusuyo sa mga... Tsaka it's in the way you will react rin na makikita yung maturity mo. And lagi sa akin sinasabi ng mom ko, yung how we, how what whatever whoever partner you're with ang nakikita niya is how i am with that partner so kung kumare bastos ako sumagot sa kanila eh di ayaw nila yung partner ko kasi parang bakit ka naging ganyan hindi ka naman ganyan dati so if maging mas understanding ka and you just take it kumare magalit sila because you have been hiding this from them for 2 years and you have not been yeah, that's pretty i mean let's be real here that's pretty immature right <laughs> so so now step up be the mature person that you are um, or I, I assume you are and just talk to your parents about it. So, mm-hmm. there. Thank you so much, Vicky. Saka, ano yes. siguro yes. sa, saka, siguro, pagpahuli na, parang just to, just to, uh, parang bigyan sila ng konting lakas. I know a lot of people, uh, personal friends even, na dumaan din sa ganyan. Uh-huh. Dumaan din sa, alam mo yun, ayaw na ayaw ng parents, uh, dumating pa sa point na ilang Para, parang meron period of time na hindi sila binabati ng parents. Pero eventually, umu-okay mm-hmm. naman. Eventually, umu-okay. Lalo na when the children uh, start coming, uh, kadalasan yung mga parents, hindi na titiis yung apo. Oh. Eh. Natitiis yung anak, pero natitiis yung mga apo, hindi na natitiis. So, sana, sana maging patient. Pa yes, sila. there is hope. And speaking ako, of ako, hope... Ako yun, sorry. Speaking VP, VP, last na. Last 30 seconds. Um, we have a thing in the Mali bag. It's called the Storm Breaker where I usually say, okay, ito na talaga dapat ang gagawin. But because this episode is the greatest episode ever Part two. in all podcast history, um, the Storm Breaker for today um, comes in the form of a question. VP Lenny, mabubuhat mo ba kami in 2022? Can the your question the question is what would it take VP for you to ban Jim mali yung question mo hindi I yun yung gusto ko to in, in well, relation to the weightlifting ah, parang okay. ikaw na ba VP ang magbubuhat sa amin papunta sa yes i get that but the question is what would it take VP for you to finally hopefully um 
respectfully <laughs> announce your bid for presidency? Ako, ako, ako two parts yung answer ko. First yung kay Jim. Ako, um, um, even before 2022, I have been trying to do that already. Hmm. Um, in, in, in the in, in, in whatever capacity I, I am given, so I am in, I try to do the best that I can to, to, you know, to help, to make lives easier for, for Filipinos who are having, you know, are having difficult times. I've been doing that. Um, yung, yung question ni Sab, kakabit nito, yung sa akin right now, I, I, ako, I, I'll be very honest na I, I've always said that I'm open to running for the presidency. Pero pinag-aaralan ko then how viable uh, my run will be. Kasi halimbawa, uh, example lang to, example. Um, if, if, if you look at my numbers sa huling, uh, marami ng surveys ngayon. Pero sabihin natin, sa huling Pulse Asia survey, I was number six of many candidates, but I, I was at six percent. So sa akin, pinag-aaralan ko yun. Uh, I, I'm at 6%. That's low. So if you look at, if, if the numbers stay, halos, halos ano talaga eh, hindi viable yung pag-run. And ang iniisip ko kasi, Jim and Sam, too much is at stake in 2020. Um, yung type of governance that we're having now, I don't think we can last another six years uh, under this type of governance. So, so, um, kahit siguro, uh, I am, I am very much aware of how people, lalo na my supporters feel about it. Pero sa akin, pinag, pinag-aaralan ko, um, halimbawa, halimbawa, um, yung, yung 6%, laban ba kahit 6% and bahala na during the campaign? O yung 6% ba ilalamp i- i- ko together with uh, the other numbers para para maging viable against uh, the administration candidate? So, so sa akin, yun yun. Um, yun yung tinitingnan ko. If my numbers improve, or if, if my numbers um <laughs> Mahirap sabihin nyo lahat na gano'n mm-hmm. Pero um, kung may fighting chance, why not? Paano ba sumala dyan sa Pulse Asia survey na yan? Pero, bakit ba hindi tayo nasa survey niyan? <laughs> Kasi ano bakit ba never kami nakaka-join ng mga survey na yan? Kasi kung kailangan lang naman i-up yung numbers, di ba? Eh di sali tayo sa survey But, na yan. But uh, ako VP, thank you for uh, uh, answering honestly. <laughs> and you know, it, it and uh, honestly, ito, parang... To everyone listening, this is what a public servant, this is how a public servant should think. Yes. Na parang, uh, it's good for the good of the country. So, VP, ob- obviously you have our support, whether you run or if you say na, oh, vote Jim na lang for president, <laughs> we will support that. Um, VP, pero, sorry, yeah, side note lang. Diba, pati naman yung, when you were running for VP, weren't your numbers also, like, not that great? Oh, oh. I, I I actually started at 1%. See? I, I started at 1%. Pero, pero, pero ano kasi yun sabi, the, the, parang, yung, yung everything hmm. uh, was very different ah. then. Uh, yung, yung number one the difference noon, uh, my awareness level was very low. So, alam mo yun, pag awareness level ko very low, pag pag nagsipag ako, uh, pumunta ako sa tao, magpakilala, chances are dadagdag din 1% mm. ko. And that exact and that, that that was exactly what mm. happened. Pero ngayon kasi yung awareness level ko 100%. Mm-hmm. 100% yung awareness level ko, pero ang baba, mm. ang baba ko in the surveys. Mm-hmm. Uh, pero having said that kasi et, eto gusto ko lang isingit kahit wala siya sa question niyo. Kasi recently um marami yung mga lumalabas na kinausap ko si ganito, kinausap ko si ganito, galing sa ibang partido. Gusto ko lang sabihin na yung pagkausap ko mas exploratory. Mm. Hindi ako nakikipag-usap na sasabihin ko ikaw na yung susuportahan mm. ko. Hindi ganon. Mm. Pero ang tinitingnan ko lang, ang, ang parating pinag-uusapan sa unang usapan, ano yung stand mo about this? 
Uh, halimbawa, yung mga things that are important to us, para sa para sa iyo, um, parang how do you how do you see these things? Ano yung ano yung ano yung tinitingnan mo beyond 2022? Parang ganun pala. Mas exploratory, just try to find out if uh, yung commonalities natin namin are enough para magkaisa kami. Walang wala pang pinag-uusapan na ikaw yung susuportahan. So so yun sa akin and, and I think that's also for the country. Uh, I was the one who sought them out. Uh, kasi nakikita, nakikita ko kasi uh, may, may, ang iba supporters, tinitira yung mga kausap ko. Ako yung nag-seek out sa kanila. Okay. Uh, ako yung pumunta sa kanila. Ako yung pumunta sa kanila. Yun yun nga. Uh, Pinag-uusapan lang uh, how do you feel about what's happening mm. now. Uh, ano yung gusto mo mangyari um, after the 2022 elections. Uh, just in case um, open the mm-hmm. bag to sit down with all the other contenders. Mm-hmm. Um, tapos ano yung stand mm-hmm. mo halimbawa sa corruption, mm-hmm. ano yung stand mo sa, you know, many different things. So it's exploratory. Um, kung, yung, kung yung pag-explore nakita namin na hindi tala kami nito pwede magsama, mm-hmm. yun, yung, yun yung purpose mm-hmm. nun. So sa akin, gusto ko lang i-appease yung ating supporters okay. na yung yung exercise na ginagawa natin and I've talked to many already mm-hmm. uh, ilan na ba yung nakausap ko I think I've talked to four mm-hmm. uh, five five or six people already na lumalabas na content okay. so so sa akin nandun pa lang and really ang, ang usapan namin we will talk again mm-hmm. and mga tinatanong ko sila uh, would you be willing to talk to alibawa person A or person mm-hmm. B meron sa kanila mga nagsasabi Okay sa akin si B, si C, pero si A ayaw ko yung makausap. So ito, mas, mas ganun pa lang. Uh, so so sa, walang, walang dapat ikabahala. Okay. I, 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 Ayaw sa atin lang, parating, parating ano yung makakabuti sa bansa. Mm, my last, 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 very, 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 very last. So would you say, uh, VP, medyo ang opposition, uh, parang I don't think there's an opposition na ngayon, no? parang, but, do you think that as of today, as of whatever day it is, July 30. July 30, do you think that it is still a bit disjointed and not as fortified as you would have wanted it to be? Um, it, it's not as fortified as I would have wanted it to be, but we're in a better place now compared to... Um, 2019 oh. or 2018. Okay. Ah. Uh, kasi yung talaga, uh, parang na-shock and po kasi. Mm. Um, pagpasok, pagpasok ng bagong administrasyon, parang may shock and o factor mm. na a lot of those in the opposition either jump fence mm. or um, decided to just keep quiet. Okay. Pero, pero ngayon, mapapansin ko na people are getting more vocal. Uh, people are more willing to sit down and talk uh, unlike before. So sa akin, hindi ako nawawala ng pag-asa. Mm. Hindi ako nawawala ng pag-asa na kahit 2022 is just around the corner. Other is hope that, um, you know, people will be uh, more courageous. Uh, people will, uh, more people will take, take a stand. And more people will be willing to sit down and talk and explore how to unify for the country. Oh, that's really nice. Well, VP, before we end, I just wanted to let you know personally, here at home, um, we have our three girls, our angels here. They're from, their hometown is Zamboanga. And we recently learned, because we never really want to pressure them into yeah. anything or force them into anything. They just hear us views. over the dinner table. And they can see the VP of the Orchids sa akin to thank me for the project that we did together for education. Um, so, they can see it sa the refrigerator. They can see the card that has a sign, Lenny. So, I'm like, I'm going to give you a so I think Jim, no, you asked them casually. Yeah, casually, because I, I just wanted to make sure that there's no pressure. Na I will not force any political whatever on you. But who voted you? They're both together. 
Sir, VP Lenny po. Oh my gosh, sobra kami yung tuwang-tuwa. Tapos, uh, tapos I was curious, sabi ko, ano kayang part of the campaign is working? So sabi ko, anong anong ano, sa- saan ka naka, bakit naging VP Lenny? Ano ba? So nakikita niyo sa Facebook, kanyan? Dito, so, it's na, their families. Yes, because daw, nagpunta talaga kayo doon and you really um, changed their lives. So, mm. I mean, I just wanted you to know that mm. na it is working, VP. And it I really, is. I really, really, sobrang oh, nagkaroon ako thank ng... Thank you. Ano, ano? Oh. I mean, we have a lot of projects in in that mm-hmm. area. Yung Zamboanga, Basilan, Sulu, and Tung Tung. Kasi we really go to the places na malalayo. Mm-hmm. And uh, in Zamboanga, we don't just go to the city. Mm-hmm. We go to the smallest towns yes. na mahirap puntaan. Mm-hmm. Kasi it's where, parang, it, 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 it's those towns that need more yes. help from government. So so siguro na rin ni Gideon kasi yung area nila uh, among among our angat buhay, angat buhay ano to uh, adopted community. So well on 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 their behalf and on for personally Ren, we want to thank you for all the difference that you're making in this yeah. country and we fully support <sighs> you and yeah. thank you so much thank for your you, time. Thank you VP. <laughs> Thank you, Jim and Sam. Okay, mag-order na tayo ng Ensay Mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop recording now. Thanks, VP. Okay. Okay. Thank you, VP.